Well, Bye. welcome back to Yon Shipping. I am so happy to be back. <laughs> <laughs> when, you, when you told me to come, I, I can fly to come. Thank you for coming. I know it's not time uh, with the Christmas, etc. to come and hear poetry. But I swear to you, with poetry, everything will be good. <laughs> everything is good with poetry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you were here for the festival last year. It's last almost year, like yeah. 14, 15 months ago or something like that. Like that and yeah. Could you tell us anything about the last time you were here? It was great, I remember. I came here and somebody opened the, the, the door with a, and there a lot of poets that I don't know, but they don't know, know me. So it, so it was great to meet the poetry, to meet human, and to meet cities. And, uh, and I swear to you, I, I fall in love with the city because it was warm and it was your hospitality, Ava, and uh, Everybody here was such a warm reception. It was really great. That's why when it came to come in winter, <laughs> I said yes, because I, I know that there, there is a lot of work. We're a small poetry festival. You know, we are like a little family. And, yeah, and, so. and last, uh, last time this year, Sarah Eschen from, from Germany, from Iran, and lives in Germany, she was here too, and she said, Something like like you that you're just small family, your friends, your it's no big issue, and you don't have a big office. <laughs> you will do everything with our hearts. I know. So no. it's keep the smallness with the festival. It's not small. It's a big <laughs> festival because the people that you invite, they are great. You know, mm -hmm. they are humanly great. And poetry is great, you know, they are not a joke at all. And, uh, you know, poet, most of the time, they are like a, like a vagabond, you mm -hmm. can say that. Mm -hmm. They, for me, as Syrian, as uh, French also, poetry is my homeland. I cannot go back to Syria, you know, because not only for the war, because I'm... I am opposite of the dictature, so they put me in the list, the blacklist. So for me, I don't have my homeland. Every time I go to a festival, I I I feel that it is my homeland, you know. So I have a lot of homeland here and there. Every time I say, "This is my family. This is my family." So it's for me, it's so important to to travel and to. To love people, it is it is my way to to endure the life and to support it. Mm -hmm. We find that poets are uh, they are friendly, and we have this festival for four years now. It's going to be fifth year jubilee next year, and this network of poets is growing. We have we friends on Facebook, and we meet each other, and you make friends, and they are kind of. They know, they know rock stars, <laughs> just uh, ordinary people. And it's so important that we also want you to meet everybody, meet uh, children at school, and be friendly with everybody, not to be like high up no. like this. And I have been in school because mm -hmm. of you. And <laughs> I, I met the Syrian refugee and uh, I... It's, it's, it's great to see that uh, that uh, poetry can can enter the school, can can speak to children, and to remember the yeah, boy yes, that has, yeah. it was wonderful. So so it's for us it's so important. You do a work is very important to us. You know you like 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 tricoté. I don't know tricoté. Uh, uh, invisible uh, net mm -hmm. to to gather people mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. And the school that you went to last year, yeah. the, it's, the, we have been there three years with the same children. And the teacher Amal, you remember? She, she's yes, again. she works with poetry with the children. So when when you come, they they would. Anticipate who's coming, who's coming, <laughs> and she gets them to write, 
and they put all the poems on the wall and they can choose. So it's, it's so great that they can meet po poetry at that age and they will be the future of yeah. poetry. Yeah. Yeah. It's and wonderful. Also, also what something was um, very, very great for me to find that how is the, the girls mm -hmm. with the veil mm -hmm. living in this society with, with the freedom. Mm -hmm. They were free, you know, mm -hmm. as if they don't have a veil. Mm -hmm. Instead they have veil, but they are here. In France, we cannot see that. Mm -hmm. In France, they, they are so so hard with the, with the girl, with the, with the veil. They are mm -hmm. out of, uh, of the school. Mm -hmm. And when I see that, it's uh, the greatest uh, tolerance that they have uh, the Sweden and that I appreciate a lot mm -hmm. because I think when you forbidden girls to come to school because they have the veil that means you you put you do two punishment mm -hmm. first because they have mm -hmm. the veil and then you provide them to be to have knowledge and knowledge is important that knowledge one is day important they have yeah. it. So it's the freedom that we have in Sweden and the freedom of religion and you can that wear everything, great. you can that do everything. Great. That is good. Mm. That is but great. still, I mean, I think it's they are very young to yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. wear religious I symbols. Know, but I know. Uh, I know, I know. But uh, without school, they would be in home. They would be... Yes, it's so very important. And they are really, really they good. Mm. A window mm. to fly. Mm. Yes, it's important. Ah, it goes to the family, you know. Ah. Remember Stina? Yeah. <laughs> the dancer. The dancer. Mm -hmm. oh, I and the little, the little dancer of Lisa. Uh, one day we do, we do uh, a spectacle with dance. We <laughs> brought a little broken English here now. Yeah, so it's so can we go over set at the floor here now? Okay. So, what are you going to say? Yes, that's for me. Yeah. 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 After uh, my deception of love, you know, I was in love with a Christian Catholic boy, mm -hmm. and uh, were, and the the government has uh, trying to make me uh, trying uh, working for them because I was translated. Mm -hmm. So I I thought that going to Paris to marry with somebody. Maybe I will love him after. Maybe I will change my my identity and I come back to Syria after. Mm. And unfortunately, I uh, I don't success to to love this man. So mm. so I divorced with him. With his son. But he was a Syrian. Too. Yeah, he was Syrian. So uh, when I divorced, he has uh, punished me. So he took my son for more than. 13 years I couldn't see him and it was a, a really a, a big um, tragedy in my life. I think it, uh, it make everything after uh, much more painful and much more difficult. So uh, through 13 years I didn't try and I tried to forget this part of me which was Syrian, it was Muslim, it was a woman. I try to forget all this feature, and but uh, after it was so hard not to write when I saw my son after 13, 13 years, I re-win my some of my identity, and I write, start to, to write mm -hmm. again. Yeah, again, I have a book what's so important, it's Red Cherry. Who has uh, been translated in 19 language and has a big uh, prize of Adonis Prize for the most important production, literature production in the world, Arab world. So I said, ah, that is my life. 
So I start to write, I start to write. But the real time that I saw my son, he, he came back at 26 years. He came to Paris and I, I met him as a man, you know. I said all the time, I said, the boy that has been kidnapping 18 months, I never saw him. Mm. How could that happen? How could uh, I mean? How could it be? It's, it's, it's a crime. It happened all the time. Mm. Right? Mm. All the time, women paid for their uh, liberty. Mm -hmm. Women paid for uh, for writing, mm. for uh, dancing, for singing. Everything they do, they 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 took them from the classic uh, condition. Mm -hmm. They are punished in a way of of other way, you know. And then I, I married with a French man, and uh, also he punished me when I start to write because I didn't, uh, I changed my my way of living with him because before I was a real woman keep house housekeeper, <laughs> and suddenly I write, suddenly I don't answer, suddenly I speak Arabic, so. He doesn't understand what happened to this woman that uh, mm. when he saw her, she doesn't speak French, she doesn't... Uh, so it, it wasn't easy for a woman. That's why I wrote in book what's a fear fitted soul, mm -hmm. to speak about the violence that uh, women endure every day. Mm. Uh, it's a kind of uh, portrait of women, mm. most of them uh, French, uh, Italian, etc. Uh, I collected their their life and uh, I wrote for them mm. about them. Mm. I think in this way I speak about me without saying I. I said she. And in reality, they are me. Mm. You are every woman. <laughs> I, I, I am in every woman. But do your books appeal to everybody. I Especially think, women, because you write so much about women and the situation I think, and yeah, yeah, I think children. I speak a lot of women because mm. I know the life of women, mm. but I think also that I'm sister of men and I love men and they are my my lover, they are my mm. sons, mm. they are my brothers, and and I think uh, if I fight for the liberty of women, that to make life better for men. Mm. Uh, I don't have. Uh, sometimes I think I missed this uh, this anger because the feminists they are so angry. I know I'm not angry. Even I have a real a real reason to be angry. Yeah. I don't have it. I don't know why, but it's, uh, but uh, I have this um, compassion uh, also for for my uh, for my. Uh, people who hurt me, hurt me. I have compassion, I understand what they do that, so so all the time I, I keep pardon. And uh, that's, I think it's not good uh, because uh, hunger is good. It's a big <laughs> motor to, to make things better. But poetry, is, it's, it's like kindness too. And I read something that you said, somebody says that poetry is like a weapon. Yeah, it's for politics and it's to fight. In Latin America, poetry has that kind of position that's to fight and against the government and against everything. But then you said that poetry is not a weapon, it's it's the opposite. It's the anti-weapon, anti, anti -weapon, something like that. I like it. I like it. I don't love weapon because mm. that means we are in, mm. in, in we, we, we do the same act that mm. the other do. Mm. Even the, the weapon is books and uh, poetry, but weapon I don't love it. It's a way. It's a way to defend ourselves. It's to, meet, to meet to meet everybody on the same level and to meet to, to listen and to be kind and you you gain more than just to so, fight. I think so. I think so. Mm -hmm. You know, I sometimes I go to school with a, with maternal school. That means they have five years old, three years old. And it's a big experience to meet this, this year, the student of this year. And I remember when I finished to speak and to write, read poetry with them, 
I ask her, what is poetry? And, and the, the girl with her, uh, with her mouth full of um, wet, you know? Yeah, saliva. Yeah, mm. she said to me, kindness. Yeah. <laughs> so what should I do? <laughs> this is so lovely. Yeah. I think it was one of the most uh, touching uh, yeah. Yeah. moments. Yeah. You know, I, I go to um, all the time to school, and sometimes uh, <coughs> I have the children of uh, nine years, ten years, and they are in front of me. We speak about poetry, and their prof mistress, they are, they give them this uh, this love to poetry because they work with them every day, and and you know how how is they are lucky these children to meet a uh, prof like this, you know. And uh, I was reading in Arabic, and when I read in Arabic, the children, they, they are perplexed because uh, the language is something here. Uh, so I saw some, some perplex in their eyes, so I said to him, do you love that your, your mother to be a poet? So they were a little bit shy. I think they don't want, I said, why don't you want that your mother be a poet? He said, because when she will write poetry, she will not do us potatoes. And the <laughs> other said, they, because she doesn't have the time to make a pot, etc. So I look in front of me, it was a boy. He was uh, with the head uh, between. Mm, yeah. I said, and your mother, what does she do? He was a black boy. He told me with a softer voice, as if he was uh, shame. He said uh, she is uh, uh, cleaning the cleaning house. I said to him, me too? Yes. <laughs> Poet are the cleaning. <laughs> yes. We are cleaning. Yeah. We clean the house yeah. of the world. We took the dust. We open the window, and we try to order to 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 make uh, the house beautiful. We put roads. We put. Uh, we we are cleaner of the world. And suddenly, I was in the, after that. I was in the airplane, uh, in the airport. A very elegant woman beside me, like this. I said, uh, "What do you do in life?" She said to me, I'm a lawyer. Huh? And you? I said, me too. <laughs> <laughs> lawyer? I said, yeah. yeah yes, I, I don't, I, I was not a liar uh, because I'm a lawyer, because I defend women who has a <clears throat> word to say. I defend women who has been kidnapping, uh, has been uh, uh, Violent. I I defend the world. I defend people. I defend dogs. I defend all people. So I we are lawyers. We all. So now really I'm convinced that we are everything. Poet is everything. Mm -hmm. Is uh, hairdressing. Is uh, because we make people beautiful. <laughs> so voila. I'm poet. poet and you, you make language beautiful. Yeah. And also for the kids to see that language is beautiful. That's so poetry important. too. Yeah. It's very important for them, I think. Yeah, yeah. And it, maybe here in Sweden they have different languages and they can have their own mother tongue and they can have Swedish and they could be proud and they could, you know, my language is beautiful. I think that's important too. It's Poetry in just that. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. that's true. We try to make uh, <laughs> the world much more uh, tender. Yeah. And I think. Uh, I think that's what I aim in my poetry to to make this message of the world to, to make us happier, you know. Because I'm I'm really have a great uh, a great belief that uh, we cannot be happy alone. We cannot, you know. You are happy and you walk in the street. You find somebody who sleep by airs. How could you be happy? When you come back home, mm. you cannot. Mm. To help him is uh, to find him place to sleep. It, you can you can sleep 
easier, you know, you can sleep without mm. the feeling that you are uh, guilty of something. Mm. So helping others is is an act egoist also, because uh, because making people better that make us mm. better also. Mm. I I believe that you know that in, in the house. If there's a, a place, if, the, if there's a, a fire in the kitchen, it will become in your house, mm -hmm. in your room, because mm -hmm. we are co connected. Mm -hmm. So making the others safe mm -hmm. make us also safe. Yeah. Now, for, now for the vaccination, mm -hmm. if we don't give vaccination to the to the African or to, to, to all these uh, poor people, it will come back. Yeah. So See making good, it's, yeah. it's make us mm. good also. Mm. It's by egoism, mm. not by by charity. Mm. It's by necessity. So this pandemic is really teaching us something about solidarity and I equality. Think, I think so. Yeah. I think that mm. is so important. And uh, and poetry, I think poetry. When you will read my poetry, it's Syrian maybe, but you will enter to the conscious of people that maybe you don't know and they have another culture another idea of life and that make you rich uh, that make us more, more rich more mm. more beautiful i think mm. uh, poetry make us beautiful mm. because it make us noble it make us uh, human and when we are human we the degree of the human mm. we more we are upper, more we are beautiful. I think so. Mm. So, mm. Well, you get to know people. And, and your, your poetry, you speak for women, you speak for everybody. And your poetry, uh, we should read soon here. Yeah. It's very, it's like I told you before, it's visual. You can see, you can imagine. You use sometimes simple words, but still, you can see this. You can see the father with the dead child in his arms. You can see the mother. You can see Liberty walking. Yes. You cut her throat, but she's still walking. She's singing. So she, it's it's like you. When I said also in the foreword uh, of the book, you don't know this, but when we translated, we started to translate for the festival last year some of your poems yeah, when you were coming, yeah, and yeah. then they just you know we took to them. They re went into our hearts like a knife sometimes. You could feel the pain and you really had to, you know, I have to do, I do the rest tomorrow. You, it's it's very, very strong. It's strong medicine, so you can't do them all. It took a very long time to translate, actually, yeah. because then you get, you take them to your heart. And I so think, it's very, you know, I think after the, I wrote this one, uh, maybe I, I get ill because of all this uh, um, suffering, feeling, you know, suffering. You feel because I saw this. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm not in Syria, but imagine all these people who has endured the ten years of of war daily mm -hmm. uh, without. Uh, sometimes, sometimes I feel that what what uh, what um, power has uh, uh, human. To endure all of this injustice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you see your five children die before you, when you see your house, mm -hmm. we, we we lost one euro and we are sad. Mm -hmm. They lost everything. Mm -hmm. So, so for me, uh, writing about them maybe also say to make uh, to show how it's. Uh, Awful is the, is the war. Mm -hmm. How it's awful to to make people suffer like that. Mm -hmm. so. I, I think for, for me, but poetry, your poetry makes me understand more because I can go into these people's hearts and lives, and it makes me more emotional than for watching the television. You see the war, war, and you're just blank. Yeah. But the poetry that goes right into your heart. So it's so important, but, actually. <laughs> you know, I was in South Africa. It was the third year of uh, revolution. Mm -hmm. And it was a very nice festival and very nice place in Cape Town. 
and uh, in the night my my sister-in-law has phoned me and tell me she was crying madam help us help us do something mm. we are dying mm. Mm. i couldn't sleep the night in, in the morning i was tired uh, mm. walking and and what happened mm. i said what made me sad Three years I read every day this book. I, I went by all the, over the world and nothing changed. So, so what, what, what is the use of poetry if nothing changed, my God? And uh, one woman said to me, you know, Madame, Syria for me was nothing, something in the TV. And now she came and she could be glad. She said, now Syria is dear because it is your face, because it's your war mm -hmm. and that. Mm -hmm. And I will do all my, what I can do to help, to open my door mm -hmm. to the people who came. You make me change my, my, my idea about what happened, etc. Mm -hmm. If it's me, there's a lot who, so don't say that you don't do nothing. You do or not? So, so maybe, she, maybe she, she said she exaggerated, but uh, but really sometimes when you see that there is all the time things come back and uh, injustice and uh, so poetry we need it because it it makes things uh, a little bit more more hard harder. Less harder, rather, yes. than the it was it's understanding. Poetry. It's it's you and then it's it's people. Poetry is people. Yeah. Uh, today is the Nobel Day. That's maybe oh, that's, that's why uh, we're not day. so many people here because they are at the Nobel Prize party. <laughs> And I, I read somewhere that once you were actually nominated yeah, for the Nobel I, yes, Prize three, on Literature. Could you yeah, say something? Three, three about years that? ago, three I, years ago, okay. they have done um, a, a big uh, article and uh, a dossier. They sent it to Nobel Prize, and it was uh, for Soutenu, um, I think it's fortified uh -huh. by the Italian also association. Uh, I once dream of one million euro <laughs> to, to buy a house, <laughs> and uh, it was for Bob Dylan. And yeah. when they uh, people said to me, "Oh, Madame, you are sad," I said, "No, it's for me because Bob Dylan is my father." <laughs> yeah, but I guess he already had a house. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, but you really, it's Bob Dylan is one of. Who has made my made my made my my imagination, my engagement? Uh, mm -hmm. I owe him a lot. So, mm -hmm. so I'm mm -hmm. I'm his daughter. So <laughs> if his, my father has this as a price, it's me. And it's not it's not too late for the Nobel Prize. Maybe, maybe one day they <laughs> maybe they give poets like every ten year or something like that. So maybe you will have the future for you. <laughs> no, I, I I think uh, the one who has uh, made my candidature. He said that you are Syrian, you are a woman, you write beautiful poetry, mm -hmm. you defend liberty, and I think you have all mm -hmm. the... Because pre Nobel is not only literature, I think it's also politic. So you have a lot of um, elements that mm -hmm. uh, may be mm -hmm. uh, interested. Mm -hmm. Especially, he said to me, that the Nobel Prize they always want to shock people. <laughs> so they will be, be, be shocked with you. <laughs> and we were very shocked when Bob Dylan got it because everybody knew him. Uh, Usually it's somebody that nobody ever read. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that, that, they, they love to be <laughs> to be something uh, out right. of, or, of normal. He wants to shock people. And he said, there's no Syrian before you. No? So you have everything to, yeah. to win. I am, huh? I am sure, I am sure. I look at you as if uh, I look myself a novel. So <laughs> it's not too late. It's, it's 
when I see him uh, sometime in Paris, I say to him, why you told me that? <laughs> you make me deceive. You <laughs> mean I don't ask something? <laughs> It's not easy. No, the no, competition no, is very, no. very hard. Not because it is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> no, I but I mean, you have you told me before you had like thirteen or fourteen books. Yeah. You've been translated into how no. many languages? Nineteen. Ten almost. Nineteen. 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 No languages. And now the Swedish one is the last one. I, yeah, <laughs> and it's so, yeah, yeah. And I, um, you have uh, three or four English ones that we can read if you want to read more by her. Yeah, One is which, but I have three or four in English, right? Yeah, I have, uh, yes, I have mm -hmm. uh, four in English, but four? they put two in one. Mm -hmm. I remember the editor, he said to me, I want them both, but uh, he put it in one. Volume. one uh, yeah. uh, je te regarde, I uh -huh. look at you, and the red cherry, and then the abduction, and mm -hmm. uh, la mm -hmm. cinq, I have cinq. Oh, five. Five, <laughs> five in English, yeah. yeah. So in Italian, in uh, Spanish, uh, if you speak, uh, in uh, Serbian, in uh, Macedonian, in Turkish, in Iranian, and what is really strange in Iranian, in Farsi, you know, the uh, my book was is in, in, is forbidden in Syria. I cannot uh, publish in Syria. It was published in Iranian. Mm. <laughs> wow, it's even more. And the book, the most uh, problematic, because they said that I speak about uh, erotism, about uh, okay. desire, about... And it was published in Iran, you know, I, I, until now I cannot... Uh, it's unbelievable yeah. how the Iranian accepted to publish me in, the, in their language. Because I've read about in Iran many uh, because European we, and writers are... Forbidden. Yeah, that's true. As yeah. I said, because my book is forbidden yeah, in Syria, yeah. because they said because it's immoral. Ah, oh. so it's not be, be, for politics; it's for no, immorality. It's a red cherry. Oh, okay. It's not uh, this one, uh -huh. because after that, I don't, uh, I didn't uh, propose any book after. Because, uh, you still it's, have the connections in Syria. You have. Uh, family, family, friends, all, all, my all my family. Oh, yeah. All my family. Okay. I wish to make them. How's the situation you? for them? Very today? hard. Very hard. Yeah. Very hard. Yeah. Sometimes, um, you know, what is, what when I think in times, I very bad sleep. I cannot sleep really mm -hmm. deeply. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I feel like uh, the one who who hold the the the, the sky yeah. that to to fall in down. Mm -hmm. As if I am responsible of all, of all this, you know. So I don't sleep because all the problem comes, and uh, so it's, when I think about that, I will never see my family again. So and there's so many poets write about this exile. It's horrible. It's, yeah, it's horrible. It's I cannot put my sister in my mm -hmm. arms. Mm -hmm. I cannot go to my to the street that I walk. I have to do my first kisses, and mm -hmm. it's you know we we are uh, we are human like like trees. We even they they took us. From, we are uprooted, uh, uprooted from mm -hmm. our souls. Mm -hmm. But there's all time the soul. Missing you or we missing it, I don't know. Something is like that. So to feel that you are forbidden, if you don't want to go, it's okay. <laughs> but you are forbidden. What, what I have done? I wrote poetry. I I speak about mothers and children. I I don't speak. Uh, it's nothing. What is danger in poetry? But I think everything is dangerous in poetry. Would, would, would you say that ex the exile is like the nori nourishing the, the, the poetry that makes you uh, uh, better artists? When you have, because so many poets are in exile. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and they they write lovely poetry. Could I have the, a connection? Maybe maybe I think because we have we have a case, we have a cause, we have. A, we have something to speak about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So human, 
So I remember when I came to Denmark, uh, I met a very big uh, poet. Her name is Christina or something. Mm -hmm. Very known. Mm -hmm. And after my reading, she came to me. She said, you know, I'm jealous because uh, the Arab woman and uh, the people who are in exile, they have something to say. We are, we have all our freedom. Mm -hmm. We do everything. Mm -hmm. So we don't have the same, the same hunger, the, the same desire. Yeah. Yeah. That uh, mm. that uh, animate your your poetry. I think this is true. Is it true that we have to be to have pain to speak about uh, that make us poet? Mm. It is true, but it's not enough. No, it's not enough to write poetry. And it's a little bit of healing. Yeah, not enough. I think so. Not it's enough. not enough because uh, I think. Uh, Poetry is something really magic. Yeah. Uh, Sometimes, you know, like, a, like a, somebody who, who cook, yeah. cooking, uh, you can take uh, sel, uh, uh, salt, uh, mm -hmm. all the mm -hmm. ingredients yeah. to make your uh, plate. Mm -hmm. And uh, from one to one, they are not the same test. It's it's depends of about something that you don't know, but but it's magical, you know. <laughs> that is poetry <laughs> because it's not because you, they, you, you don't have uh, come on there like uh, you don't have the way to you to usage mm. for you, you, you to using it. Mm. Even you have uh, to write, you can everything, word, image, you put it there and you can try to make a poem. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you success, sometimes you don't have success because you miss something that mm -hmm. may be mm -hmm. It's lovely to hear you speak like that and it's so true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's for my English. We said together that we used to speak very good English. <laughs> English both of us. <laughs> Stranger speak English. It's kind of very. <laughs> okay, but it's very nice to listen to you speak about poetry. We usually we don't have time for that when if we have the festival and everybody yeah, so yeah, much yeah, things yeah. happening and we listen to poetry and we don't speak that much. So yeah, it's yeah. really good to to give you that time and to listen okay. to you. Thank you so much. So, I hope one day we have our film so we can. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I hope so. We can find it. Can find. Mm. I will. I will. I will come with it, so mm. we can uh, project mm. it from. Mm. The, from I can say this in Swedish for them. Yeah. Hon hade med sig en film när hon var här för det fanns ett fi en, en film som hennes vittne var en fotapoet från Syrien eller något sånt där. En hel dokumentär om henne som gick på SVT men den, den fick, hon hade en cd med sig men den gick inte att se på. Så vi har inte sett filmen. Vi har skrivit till SVT och frågat kan vi få se den här i repris eller så. Nej, det finns inte för ett produktionsbolag i Frankrike, så att de har inte rättigheter till den. Mm. De ska försöka få tag på den, men det vill man ju se. Ja. Det är ju jätte, liksom, spännande och yeah, exciting nice. to... Yeah, it would be nice to do, because it's... Uh, and there's everything in it, mm. so there's a lot of things up about my life. Mm. And, uh, mm. It would be nice to support you. Yeah, we hopefully you can find it, maybe. Maybe, yeah. maybe. Okay, and anyone wants to ask you something, or do you want to listen to poetry, or... Nu var det bliga nu, nu känner jag att du har lite på dig. Men någon som vill fråga någonting, passa på det. It's difficult. But you can understand. You can understand? You can understand? Yes. I speak with you as if you understand.